Hi, boys and girls. Are you ready to learn? Welcome to Salamander Clubhouse, where learning is fun. Hello, hello, and welcome to you. Hello, hello, and how do you do? How are you today? Learning is fun. Let's have some All fun. you have to do is try. You can do it. Happy faces on, big smiles. Big smiles. You can do it if you try. Come along and learn with me. Miss Lou. Welcome back, Salamander Pals. How are you today? I'm happy to hear that. I'm feeling very well as well, and so is Sally. Today it was sunny where we are. I wonder what the weather was like where you are. Oh, some of you say it was raining. Well, even though it's raining, it's very important for the trees and the flowers and the grass to get water. So maybe you can just stand at your window and watch and listen to the pitter patter of the rain if it was raining where you are. I'm glad you're joining us today. I'm gonna to say bye-bye to Sally just for a little bit so that we can practice our alphabet. Bye, Sally. In the last few lessons, we've been working on sign language and the alphabet. Today we have a new letter, but let's review the ones we've already done together. A, B, C, D, E, and F. Do you know what today's letter will be? You are correct. It's the letter G. Uppercase and lowercase G. In sign language, G looks like that. G. How about we sing the alphabet together? And if you can, sign with me. You'll learn lots of new letters. Here we go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now we know our A, B, C's. Next time, won't you sing with me? Good job, everyone. I love that you're all trying. And sooner or later, when you keep practicing and practicing, you'll be able to learn the entire alphabet. Now, I have a special poem for you today. And it starts with the letter G. There we go. G, just like grasshopper. Let's read this one together. The green grasshopper is a six-legged creeper. It jumps and hops and is quite the leaper. In the tall grass, you can hear its call. Sometimes on a summer night, it won't let you sleep at all. Keep jumping and leaping, green grasshopper friend. I will keep chasing after you and try to catch you again. G, G. That was a fun poem about a grasshopper. I wanted to show you that even though these two letters don't look the same, they make the same sound. One is the uppercase and one is the lowercase. Hmm. What words does the G sound make? Let's see. I know one is g, g, goat. A goat. Another one is g, g, girl. But G also makes another sound. It says j, j, j. Now, let me think. An animal that starts with j, j, j and has a very long neck. Do you know what animal I'm thinking of? 
You're right. Hello, Mr. Giraffe up there with your long neck. Giraffe also starts with G. Okay, now how about you grab something to write with, a pencil or a crayon. You can draw your letters and numbers in sand. You can use markers or a whiteboard, anything you have. Get that ready and come and meet me. We're going to read our poem and play I spy all the G letters that we can find and then we'll practice our printing. Are you ready? Let's go. Okay, friends, let's take another look at our poem. We'll read it together and then play I spy. Are you ready? Here we go. The green grasshopper is a six-legged creeper. It jumps and hops and is quite the leaper. In the tall grass, you can hear its call. Sometimes on a summer night, it won't let you sleep at all. Keep jumping and leaping, green grasshopper friend. I will keep chasing after you and try to catch you again. Green grasshopper. Okay, now let's look for all the G's in the poem. If there are any uppercase and lowercase. And if I miss any, you might find a few more. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four. Hmm. I spy five and six, let's see, seven and eight, nine, ten, hmm, eleven and twelve. I spy twelve G's in our grasshopper poem. Good job, friends. All right, great counting all the G's in our poem. Now we're going to work on printing the letter G. First the uppercase and then the lowercase. Okay, if you remember, G sounds like g, g, girl and g, g, goat. Let's start. And remember, always starting our letters from the top. So let's start here tracing all the way around. Then we stop and a little line in. Let's try that again. Up, around, and in. Only halfway, not all the way. Just like so. Like the letter C and then a little line. That makes the letter G. One more uppercase, G. Good job. Now let's work on the lowercase g. It starts like an A, but then it goes down like a little hook. Let's start here, remember, at the top. Around, around, all the way, up, and a little hook. Let's try that again. All the way around like a circle, up, and all the way down and around. You've got it. Just keep practicing. G, g, g. Excellent. Now let's look at the two words we have. Go and get. And we can trace these words too. There's our G and then an O, just like a circle. Now the word get. G, E, and T. Wonderful work, everyone. Welcome back, friends. What a wonderful job you did with the letter G. We played I Spy and you practiced your printing. Well done. Now it's time for a new number. We have done one and two, three and four, five, and six. What comes next? Hmm. I think you know. That's right. 
And if you look at my whiteboard, I've added the number seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven beautiful butterflies. I know you know how much I like butterflies. This is also the number seven. Seven and seven. How about we get our writing tools out and go and practice together working on the number seven. Are you ready? Let's go. Okay, so today's number is the number seven. That's the number and that's the word. We are going to trace our number. We're going to work on our 10 frame. And then today we are going to draw seven objects in the box. All right, I've got my marker. Whatever you have to write will work. Here we go. Let's start straight across and then down on a slant. That's the number seven. Straight across and down. This one's not difficult at all. Two lines, we don't need to take our pen off this time. Straight across, down. Number seven. Great job. Now let's look at our 10 frame. Okay, there are 10 boxes in our 10 frame. Let's see how many we've done so far. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Today is number seven. Wow, our 10 frame is filling up quickly. All right, now let's draw seven little objects in our box. First thing I want to do is do the tally marks number seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. That says seven. I think today I'm going to make circles. One, two, three, four, five, and six, and seven. There, I made seven shapes in my box. I wonder what you will do. Wow, friends, that was wonderful work today. Sally is super proud of you. You did a great job. And guess what? The word great starts with the letter G. Wonderful work. It's time for us to say goodbye. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day and we will see you back soon right here in Salamander Clubhouse. But for now, let's sing our goodbye song. Are you ready, Sally? Sally's ready. All right, here we go. See you later, alligator, in a wild crocodile. Give a hug, ladybug. Blow a kiss, jellyfish. See you soon, big baboon. Out the door, dinosaur. Take care, polar bear. Wave goodbye, butterfly. Thank you for my butterflies. You've been wonderful today. Have a fabulous day today, and we'll see you soon right here with me, Miss Lou and Sally, Salamander Clubhouse. Bye-bye.